Welcome to our tiny car challenge where we take this tiny little Toyota IQ with three full grown adults 250 miles all the way to Wales and then back again. Come and have a look in here. Look. So we've still got a seat for Sam or me so we're going to swap. All the gear here, so the basically this is the boot, this is enough for three people, the coat's on top. I think this works. I've got a spare set of shoes here. Um, I've just got to move that seat forward. And I reckon it'll be quite comfortable. Well, I hope it will be. Let's give it a go. Right, so that's how much space we've got in the back. This is the smallest four-seater car ever made. And it's actually amazingly spacious, really, considering that, um, well, come and have a look out here. So you've still got some still got a little bit of room for the, for the passenger there. Lovely. And Sam's got a headrest now, just Hello. coat. <laughs> Let's get in. Well, there's Sam in the back. Uh, <laughs> are you happy? Yeah. Yeah, you won't be in a minute when I put the seat back. <laughs> right, we're underway now. Jeff's driving. Got well, Sam behind me. Um, give us a wave, Sam. Prove that you're actually there. <laughs> hey, so here we go. We're off to the M4 now. The M4 is probably an hour away from us and then um then we're off to wales so maybe we'll all fall out but hopefully we'll all be friends by the, by the time we still get by the time we get there hopefully we'll still be friends so we've now hit the a27 um and this car actually cruises very nicely for a little car it's quite um being cvt it's a bit revvy to get up to the cruise but once you're cruising about 60 mile an hour something like that it will go faster but it's um it cruises nicely about 60 so there we're on the a27 so we've got another 238 miles to go now um and um we'll keep you updated we're still friends we're still fairly comfortable well, let's see in 100 miles. Right, motorway number two. We've just joined the M3. We're going M3 north up to the M4. So this will be for, I don't know how many miles, according to the sat-nav, but we are now on the M3 and we're still friends and we're still fairly comfortable. Getting hungry though. Jeff's getting a bit hungry. We're going to stop on the M4 for some I don't know, what are we going to stop on the M4 for? Burger King or something? Probably, yeah. Yeah, we're going to stop on the M4 for some burger meat. So, let's let some people on and we'll um, let you know when we uh, get on the M4. Right, we just joined the M4. Oh. It's very much it's some signs uh, up there, so. I hate the M4. Sam's happy though, he's had a little sleep. Jeff's still happy. He's He's been driving a superb little car. <coughs> right, quick stop at Memory Services. It's hard to remember that one. <coughs> In our local Burger King, what we've just had would have probably cost us 20, maybe 20 quid, less than 20 quid, I would say. But in here, you can't use the app. So it is 41 pounds and 47 pence for three burgers, three chips, um, and a portion of onion rings and a couple of drinks so absolutely extortionate um, don't go to where is it? Membury Membury just leaving the world's most expensive services oh just feeling the pinch a bit don't worry Jeff when we go to Poundland I'll pay <laughs> well back on the M4 then on the bridge Windmills over there. Look at this. And of course, as soon as we start getting near Wales, what happens? Precipitation. Welcome. Welcome to, to Wales. Wales. <laughs> We're in bloody Wales, boy. Monmouthshire. We're going past Newport. Right, first stop after. 203 miles we're stopping for fuel we've been averaging 52.6 miles to the gallon we're now playing petrol roulette 
So I reckon 40 quid, Sam reckons 50 quid, and Jeff says 35. You said 53, did you? Jeff reckons 35. I'm going for 40. 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. Play 6, play 7, play 8, play 9, 40, play 1, play 2, play 3, ah, 43. I've just about won that one. So we finally made it to Wales. The journey was very good. It was a long journey, a very, very long journey. Um, but it was okay. And this just goes to show that a Toyota IQ is good for long journeys, even with three big people in sam is bigger than me and he's he's only 14 but he's bigger than me so he's the size of an adult um and we made it all right so i've proved that you can do a long journey in a toyota iq it's a brilliant little versatile car cheap to run 35 pound tax <sighs> just yeah it's actually a lovely car heading towards the m4 on our way home, Sam's in the back with his headphones on. He's loving his comfortable ride. Jeff's got his sunnies on. Loving his comfortable drive. And I'm sat here, my ears are just popped. We're going uphill. Altitude sickness. So, yeah, we had a lovely holiday, and the car's been great. Um, managed to get everything in again. On our way home, I think we know where the fire engine's going. Just seen the fire engine and lots of black smoke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sad. It's a transit pickup. Right, I'm having a stint in the back now. Um, we're just leaving some services. Um, Sam's in the front. Yeah, I'm in the back. He's got his seat right forward, so um, I can still have a drink and hold my phone. It's probably more uncomfortable with me. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, we're back on the bridge. again we just come back from Wales we filled up the tank on the way to Wales and this is the way well this is basically home now the home Tesco's we're going to see how much it's cost to get from Swansea to where we were going and back and we're on two bars of petrol so this is how much it's cost for the journey hey Hey, I was right. I said day five. <laughs> Jeff said four. Jeff said thirty-nine. Sam said forty-two. I said thirty-five. Bang on! Got it, son. So that's thirty-three, thirty-three pounds seventy-two oh. from Swansea to Clannabother. Oh. And back all the way to Chichester. That's amazing. Look at that. Brilliant. <laughs>